In this video, we're going to show you how to fix your MSO3 so that it can go to turbo and stay in turbo for as long as you want almost. It'll stay green, and that means you can go to turbo, turn it off, go back to turbo. If it's already on, you can double click. If that turns red, you won't be able to do that. If yours is turning red prematurely, the issue is that it sees a low voltage due to a poor contact in there. So to fix it, you just have to clean the contacts on the driver. You can use 99% rubbing alcohol, a tissue paper, or a Q-tip, and I prefer using a piece of wood because it doesn't scratch up the metal and it's strong enough to scratch off any glue and thread lock. They put a lot of thread lock in there, so that gets in the way of the connection. So clean that up really well. To unscrew the body tube from the head, you need a lot of force because there's a lot of thread lock on there. So take out the battery, put this cap back on so it makes the body tube stronger, and then wrap some rubber. This is from inner tube and to also protect it from marring of the surface. Don't clamp down too hard. You can get some other rubber, put it in a vise, and then undo it like that. Clean both sides of the body tube. You can use polishing sandpaper or just use a piece of paper. A lot of dirt comes off there if you rub on it. Clean the tail cap. Clean your driver up. I recommend using deoxit. It cleans it and protects it. It's not necessary, but it's good measure since this thing's pulling like 40 amps initially or something. So once it's all cleaned up, your flashlight should be able to go to turbo. The light will stay green and you'll be able to give full output without that red light of death. If it does turn red, you can work around it by unscrewing the tail cap, resetting it and putting it back on. Then it'll be able to go to turbo once until it measures the low voltage and it'll lock itself from going to turbo again. So that's the issue and that's the solution. So stay tuned for the detailed review of this flashlight. It's a very powerful flashlight and I still recommend it even though they have QAQC problems. The build quality is excellent and the design is great. It's difficult to get 13,000 lumens out of anything this small as an everyday carry. So this is definitely a good design. I think it's a great light to have in your pocket. If it's dark out and you need a lot of light, you can just double click. Otherwise, it's a great 2000 lumen light as well. So if you're not afraid of a little bit of work, you can buy this, modify it, clean up those contacts, and then you have yourself a very good 13,000 lumen everyday carry in your pocket. So I can't wait to do the detailed review of this light. I think it'll be a great performer overall. At the beginning when it wasn't working and I wasn't sure if I could fix it, I was kind of disappointed that I spent 129 bucks for a paperweight. But after being able to fix it, I'm actually pretty happy with this light. If I wasn't able to fix it, they've got a 15 day repair and replace service or a five year free repair warranty. So that's pretty good. I think Emulent's a great brand. It's just unfortunate that they had this little sloppy thread lock causing these issues. From the sounds of it, there's other people having these issues, not just me. So I thought I'd make this quick video to show everyone how to fix it. So stay tuned for my detailed review video. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.